It's the regional final in Baton Rouge. Shoreman ready, coffee in the box. And we're underway with the breaking ball, strike one. Bouncer back to Kilponi, in and out of her glove. And because of that, Davis is safe over at first. Stormy Kotzelnik bounces over to second. Penny on the short hop has to go to first as Davis advances into scoring position. Defensive team, those three, and then Gutierrez as well. That's bounced up the middle. Briggs with Davis holding at third. And so Jerry Glasgow not going to take any chances here early on. And Sophie Piscos has her seventh hit in 10 tries for the first four, Louisiana. Bouncer up the middle, Penny steps on second, not in time! And Maya Davis crosses home to give Louisiana the lead. The payoff pitch. Got her with the off speed, and Allie Kilponen works out of a jam, but Louisiana takes the lead. And the payoff is upstairs. One on. Runner on the move. That's downstairs, and Rudity is into second without a throw. Pitching against LSU in the 1-0 and game. High drive, that's the deep center. Davis gives it a look, and that's it! Carly Petty's first hit of the Baton Rouge Regional is a two-run homer, and LSU takes the lead! A playoff game like this. 0-1 is a high drive center field. Davis to the wall, and she can't make the play! Gutierrez motoring to third, and she's in there! Bouncer over toward short. Mishandled by Langliers, and the walls are, I think the wheels are sort of coming off here for Louisiana. They have to settle down here defensively in the second. 2 1 is bounced over to short. This is Langliers coming home now, but throws wide, and Gutierrez slides in safely. Stewart wisely advances to third, and it is 3 1. LSU. Shorman and now Sierra Briggs with one out. This one is up the middle. Step on second one. On to first. Not in time. And LSU gets another run. Briggs just too fast. She beats it out. And she looks at this weekend. This is in foul grounds. And the call on the catch by Kotzelnik. Did he? High drive. That's towards left field. Chases Stewart away back. And that one is gone. Alexa Langliers making up for a couple of defensive miscues with a solo shot, her second of the weekend. And the Raging Cajuns have cut it to a 4-2 deficit. CAA championships. I got a piece of Vasquez. And LSU. Runner goes, Hayden on the move. And she has her fourth stolen base in as many attempts this weekend their strength with throwing runners out. Maya Davis rips it towards the opposite field. Hayden pulls up at third. Davis going to second and she is in there. 2-2. Two -two. Knocked down by Gutierrez. She picks it up and has no play. It is a one-run game. And now they've got Kotzel making a run down. Everybody's safe. Runner goes, they'll throw down, and Allie Newland got her. End of the inning with a terrific cannon behind the plate. First NCAA tournament. And she'll rip one through for her fifth hit of the weekend. The third, and now here is Carly Heath. As she sends it deep left field, chasing Stewart back, and she makes the catch as she bangs into the wall. Saving an extra base hit and robbing the Sun Belt player of the year. And she started against Omaha. In the hole right side. Strong throw in by Rudity, and that holds all red at second. But the momentum is very clearly switched to the side of the fans in red. And this time, the off-speed waved at and missed. High drive. That's towards center. Briggs away back, and it's into the bleachers. Jordan Campbell fresh off 
the bench gives Louisiana the lead. It's their first of the game. And she has a base hit here in the third. And she collects her second hit as that one drops in front of Briggs. One-two is flown out to left. This is playable for Stewart as she comes in and makes the play. For CY. High drive, deep left field. Stewart gives it a look, and that one is off of the light tower. Light tower power for Piscos. And Louisiana adds to its lead, it's 7-4. And there's a leadoff walk to Stewart. One two is bounced over to second. On to short one. And they cannot get the speedy Danica coffee, but 0 oh, 1 is chopped over to short. Langoliers touches up. And two away. Louisiana is just one out from game seven. Taylor Pleasance lifts it to shallow center field. It dunks in front of Davis and gets away from her. Briggs gets to third, and that's it because she actually tripped trying to get into the third base bag. Another one-two from Landry. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. Fair in trouble. And it's just foul. Beth Torina thought we were tied. And that's a hot shot. Langoliers picks it up. Throws to first. The tag applied by Olin. And there will be a game seven for the fourth straight time that LSU and Louisiana have matched up in the regional final. The winner of this game is in. And the first pitch by Burzon down and away to Maya Davis. And Auburn, a hitting guru, as Maya Davis flares it fair down the left field line. Big turn by Davis. And she's going to hold right there with a leadoff single. Base off of Burzon. This is over towards second, could be two. Petty throws it away. Davis moves to third and runners on the corners. And nobody out for Louisiana in the top of the first. That error could be. Got away from Newland. Davis easily scampers home. Kotzelnik stays at second. And it is one nothing. And missed on 3-2. Just barely, but it's ball four, according to Robbie Guest. And a four-pitch walk to Lauren Allred to load the bases. And the 2-1 is a high chopper over to Petty. Goes to first for one, and that is all they will get as Kotzelnik crosses the plate. And Langoliers draws the walk, so three have reached base on Rachel Lawson's Kentucky program. 1-1 one, one is driven, deep left field, fair, it's gone, and it's off of the foul pole. Grand slam, Jordan Campbell. The Raging Cajuns are running wild in Baton Rouge. Well, Jordan Campbell gets her second home run of the day. Bounces off the foul pole, and that is a grand slam. The first of her career. Of the batter's box. Clark delivers deep left field and forget about it. LSU's home run leader puts a jolt into Tiger Park. Well, I don't think Clark liked what I was saying about her just now, so she went ahead and tried to flip the script on me. And I love that she makes that in-bat adjustment. She went all the way in the back of the batter's box to that's off of the glove of the third baseman, and the throw not in time. Kotzelnik couldn't bring it in. Phil, and she did. 0-2 is bounced over to short. It's off the glove of Langoliers and skirts into center. Swinging a drive up the middle, base hit. Stewart around third. She's going to score. Pleasance advances to second. A two-out knock. And LSU has one more back here in the third, trailing by four. 
Base hit up the middle. One run scores. Taylor Pleasants around third without a throw. It's a two-run single for Georgia Clark. The Tigers are alive and well in Baton Rouge in game seven. 3-1 is low and away. It's for Mackenzie Rudity. Into left field. Hayden won't get there. It splits the gap. It goes all the way to the wall. One run scores. Newland's in without a throw. A five run third inning for LSU. And the 2 2 is bounced. That's in the hole right side. The go ahead given to Rudity. She's in there. Throw gets away. And LSU takes the lead. Returning the favor to Louisiana with a six-run third inning. A one is flown. Left field. Hayden in. And she mercifully puts it away. 2-2 Two -two is lifted over to short and just out of the leaping try of Langoliers. Briggs advances to second and dives in safely. And the payoff is in the hole right side. Briggs coming around third. She'll score easily. Pleasance into second as the throw gets away. An insurance run for LSU here in the fourth. And it is eight unanswered for the Tigers. You just saw why, not just from her home runs and her doubles, but how she is playing into this Tiger crowd. 2-2, two, two, a cut and a miss, and that will silence the faithful in purple and gold. She's able to get that first strike. 2-1, hammered to deep center field. Briggs gives it a look, and it's way gone. It's Carly Heath's second of the weekend, 16th on the year, and Louisiana creeps one closer. Leads this team in home runs, so when she has a pitch that is right down the middle, she's not going to let it go. 0-2, oh, over to third, booted by Valdez, and she has no play. That should be the fifth error on Louisiana. But called a foul ball just over the foul pole in left field. Clark takes it back, and Briggs advances to second. Was she hit by the pitch, though? So you see Clark shows it, pulls it back, and does it. Uh, it does not hit her bat. That didn't get any piece of her. No. If anything, it just hits maybe the shin guard. Popped her up on 3-2, though. This is in play for all red, and she's got it for the second half. I think home plate umpire Robbie Guest just threw Georgia Clark out of the game. Let's see what Georgia Clark says here to Robbie Guest. Yeah, he tossed her. Wow. She's gone. I think she turned back to the umpire and said, that's on you. Newland rips it. Center field for Davis as she comes in a few steps and makes the play. And can Sophie Berzon change it up? Or Sydney Berzon, that is, as that one is flown into left. Already is on as the tying run. The 0-1 is into right field. That's down for a base hit. And now the tying and go-ahead runs are on. Bunt attempt on 0-2, Coffey picks it up and fires, and they get the out. Excellent sacrifice right there. And they are going to put her on. That's a strike, and it gets away. We are tied. An intentional walk goes over the plate. Newland's not expecting it, and Lauren Allred crosses the plate to tie this game at eight apiece. And this time, this. Jordan Campbell rips it into right center field, and Louisiana has the lead. Berzon was struggling to hit her spot for this pitch out. This is right on the outside corner. Basically a fastball that is easy for someone like Jordan Campbell to get to, and now the Ragin' Cajuns take the lead. Getting their Tigers ready. And the 0-2 is flown out to shallow center field and tracked down in right by Rudity. 2-2 lifted up the middle. Davis has it for out number one. High pop. Left side foul. Grant! Langoliers hauls it in! 
one, and Louisiana is one out away. All out effort, knowing how important that second out is. Last chance, Raylene Gutierrez, and she keeps the game alive with a single to center. The tying run is on for Savannah Stewart. Lifted down the left field line, Hayden on the run, and she's got it! Louisiana is going to the Super Regionals for the first time since 2016 against their biggest rival, 